There. Look at that. Look at that water beading up on this thing. Oh yeah. This path to the walkway is beautiful. We had it set up with the multicolor coleus, the Christmas caladiums, flash caladiums surrounded by this beautiful begonia. Now this, these uh, flowers here on this walkway say have a nice Christmas feel to them. Look at the ferns. The ferns really held up through the storm. We had a hurricane. Well, we, we caught like the edge of the hurricane and the ferns held up nicely. Our pot on the side here, this gets a lot of sun and we've been having to really stay, really keep this one watered because it gets a lot of sunlight off of the siding too as well. The puppy loves here on this entrance have their pink look to them and they are nice and full uh, they were half this size when we planted them going on around to the backyard and we have them on both sides of the entrance look at the detail on these leaves the green around the edges and they're lacy and the red veins in the leaves amazing and where the green and the red meet, there's kind of like a, a tie-dye type of uh, powdery red feel to it. It's beautiful. We have our flash, yeah, the flash caladiums down in here. And we put those in to uh, break up some of the, some of the uh, bold, bold colors here. We have uh, a plum color with green uh, and the black uh, diamond heads in the back background so we went with the red uh, flash caladiums and they are doing exactly what we expected them to do we just have to keep them watered now a couple years ago Janice had some of these they were huge those were the biggest in Richmond at that time so we're going to do this easy pot and I do believe she's going to make this so that it will be seen from, it'll be up against a wall or something like that, or she's going to have the caladium toward the back of the pot, which will sit near a wall and the trailing plants will go around the, around the caladium instead of uh, putting it in the middle. <laughs> We have it on the side, and that, that gives you more room in your pots. So she's situating these petunias and planting them so that they hang over the side of the, of the pot. And this is nice because you don't get that empty, uh, that empty spot in the middle. Now, I've had some petunias, and we planted them in a big pot, and I kind of tilted them to get them to trail. But this right here, there's no need in doing that with these because they have that pot completely filled up. And all she has to do is go around and and fill in the fill in the gaps. But she always takes time to situate them uh, so that they get the best performance. And we're just gonna go around with a smaller pot and fill in uh, fill in the gaps, and we're gonna water. So that the uh, so that the soil uh, fills in all the air pockets, pushing all the soil around and making sure that we still have that lip on the top to uh, catch the water when you water it. This is a nice combination. We got a little height here, and and the petunias they give you the fluff in the middle to uh, fill the pot out and also they have a trailing effect. Now this side here is 
a little empty, but that, that side will be up against the wall. Uh, she may put it up against some taller plants, and the only side that you'll see is where the where the petunias are, are trailing over. And we're just going to go around, all the way around, and make sure that this soil is tucked in so that we can get the best performance. Look at that. Okay. Uh, geraniums. We glued two pots together to get this... Uh, terracotta urn looking pot and it's gonna come in handy that was a nice move because the the creeping jenny is gonna trail at least two feet and uh, janice likes to keep that cut from the ground and this is the finished results to our petunia caladium pot look at the detail in those uh, double petunias and this flash caladium with new leaves coming out. Amazing. If you like the content, hit the like button and uh, subscribe so that you get all of our videos.